Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon, and it is part 10, so, uh, I'd like to give a special birthday message to my friend Nate, who turned 20 yesterday. He's also known as PD1 Piranha up on YouTube, but he doesn't really use that anymore. I would have recorded this yesterday, but I got interrupted and other things happened, so, yeah, but, shouts out to him. Anyways, other than that, we're going into Beast Maker's world. And it is a good world, indeed. But it can be kind of challenging, I suppose. But, yeah, I had some problems last time trying to record this. Like, I couldn't find where a certain gem was for some reason, but... I think we can do it now, so... Let's see if... Let's go do this now. Uh, I can't speak, I don't think, today. So, yeah, I ended up missing an appointment for something. I ended up sleeping in too late. And that wasn't very fun, because now we have to reschedule it. But other than that, things are going fine today. Today is uh, September 11th, so the uh, 11th year anniversary of 9-11, which is, uh, I don't know why we're calling it an anniversary. Nasty Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junkie. And it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. Well, as I was saying uh, before Mr. Bruno interrupted me, uh, I don't like to call it an anniversary despite the fact that that's what it is, because anniversary just seems like a positive kind of thing. Like, happy anniversary, but then it's 9-11, so it's kind of bad. But other than that, I don't really talk about politics in my LPs, because, you know, that's not what I'm here for. Also, I'm Canadian, so 9-11 isn't really that important as a... Well, it is, but, you know, not as important as uh, the Americans think it is. I don't know. I should probably uh, minimize the screen, because it's getting some lag, some preview lag. There we go. And we have pigs, who I... Uh, I thought these things only had one eye for some reason, because their eyes are so uh, close together, as you can kind of see. But they're not, they actually have two eyes, but I don't know if, if uh, being their eyes being so close together makes it difficult to see anything. Maybe some depth, per depth perception mixes up, mixing up. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I've got to go. You have a very dramatic voice and I love that. Anyways, let's go uh, get these gems in here, or chests, chests. We already have like 100, so cool beans, 102 to be exact. And we must be careful here because piggy. Yeah, uh, occasionally I'll sometimes forget about this if I like come back to the game new. Like if I just take a break from the game, I always forget about that thing. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's a live down here, or a life, sorry. Why did I think there was a life down here? I don't know. Oh, I know there's one life in this level somewhere. Or this world. Just chilling. It isn't even like in a hidden spot, it's just kind of chilling there. Let's see, where else can I get some gems? Jams. Hey you, pig. Bacon, I, I... You know, bacon's kind of overrated, I'm not gonna lie. Where... Why, why did I say it's overrated? I mean, like, taste-wise, you can think anything's... I don't know. Really, it's all a matter of opinion, so I don't... See, that's one thing that you can't say is overrated or underrated in terms of just... Food, you can't really use that term. And I always miss this gem for some reason. That was like the gem that I always uh, lost track of. And I had to just wander around for two minutes just to find it. Yeah, but you can't really uh, say food is underrated or overrated, because it's all a matter of taste, really, in opinion. For example, I can say uh, bacon is overrated, because I don't care for it that much, but really, it doesn't really matter, because people have different tastes than other people, so. Let's wait for this guy to uh, turn his electricity off, and he's also probably listening to a very outdated uh, Walkman, or I should say uh, Norkman, because he's a Nork. Look at that, he has those big clunky- Ow! Yeah, I, I did just stop for the sake of showing his thing off. That sounded terrible. Uh, let's go kill him, because he doesn't deserve to live anymore. That sounded really cruel, but it's probably true. 
because all he does is uh, make it an electrical cesspool, as that guy put it. Or junkie. Did he say junkie? That doesn't make sense. I thought junkies were like people who did drugs or addicted to other things. I don't know. Let's go see if there are any gems here. Uh, I don't think there are any more. There's just uh, one path here. Right here. Let's try to fly. And we even have a key, so that's always nice. Let's go to the other stump. Stumpity stump. Stump. Stump like from uh, Angry Beavers, the the uh, companion cube kind of thing going on. With It doesn't talk, or it isn't even inanimate, but you know, they address it as such. If you don't know what I'm referring to, I'm referring to uh, the cartoon Angry Beavers from Nickelodeon from like 10 years ago. And it was pretty good. Um, do we have any more? Oh, well, that's 300 out of 300, so... Uh, I was actually the fastest time I've cleared this overworld, overworld in the previous times trying to record this segment. Let's see, I'm trying to find the other one. We're going into Terrace Village, this part, so... Yeah, Terrace Village isn't that hard, so we won't... Probably won't have any issues with this one. Let's go into it now. I uh, do enjoy the murky, kind of green swamp kind of tep kind of feel this uh, world has, and just the nice uh, sky and whatnot. It's a very ugly sky, but it's very nice at the same time. That makes no sense. But anyways, we have this man who uh, has the electric gun thing. I will not let him shoot though, because that will probably hurt Spyro, and we don't want that. Also, they have the belly button rings, because they are. Uh, they are rebelling against Nork society. Uh, well that, they, that's good for them. And I don't think this guy even turns. What? You saw that, right? What the hell just happened? Man, I have to look, I have to look back at that, because he died on his own, I swear. I didn't even, I didn't fire him or anything, or I didn't flame him. He just died. That's weird. Hmm. I'm hoping I'm not crazy because I'm pretty sure that just happened. Oh well. I'll have to s I have to keep this recording now. Hopefully this will go well. Because if it doesn't go well, I won't have that clip to show anymore. So that, that was really weird. Anyways, I'm going. I'll be going on this forever. So I should probably change the subject to something a little bit uh, more more interesting uh, yeah but this level design is pretty cool I suppose again swampy textures we'll be seeing this all throughout the world and it is a nice break from the uh, mountains and whatnot from magic crafter as we get the swamp born in the bayou CCR for you that's a good band you should listen to that if you haven't already Credence Clearwater Revival Go do so. I will pause. Th you shall pause the recording and look up that band, or not. Uh, don't do so if you don't want to. Because you know I'm not here to enforce anything, really. Any other gems? No. Let's go get our first dragon in this world or the level. Wait for it. I want to see this happen. Come on. Go in there. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Sometimes you'll jump on there and get electrocuted. Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. It's kind of, it's kind of uh, expected that electricity would hurt if if uh, handled improperly. And I love that guy's voice, by the way. Maybe it was another area that that happened. I don't know. With the uh, chickens, the the, fe the featherless chickens, by the way. So they're pretty useless. They can't really fly. I don't even think chickens can fly properly. No, they can't. I don't think so. Ow! I think I just got hit twice. By the same... I don't know. I got hit at the by the two guys at the same time. Ow! Again. That isn't very nice. I'll have you know that I can get you arrested for that. 
can put you on charge. Get it? Because like charge is in this right there, and also electric electrical charges too, because uh, electricity. You know, I'm funny, right? Did I miss anything over here? No. All right. Well, that's good that I didn't miss anything. I swear, these things can get really annoying really quickly. I g I'm guessing they're wearing special boots or something to uh, keep themselves from getting shocked, otherwise uh, I don't know how you're surviving that electricity. Let's get this live first, because I like lives. They're- ow, how do you do that? Fire me from all the way up there. Or electrify me, I don't know. Cypern. Sexy pose! Good job, Spyro! One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. Sexy pose dragons, and that's 50. Uh, yes, he will, He, I guess he poses for uh, Sexy Dragon Monthly. Also, um, that guy had some sort of like a, some sort of accent going on, but I couldn't really tell what it was. It was like a pseudo Jamaican accent thingy that I don't really know. I really don't know what it was. It was cool though. Hey, hey. We want all of the gems and not one will be missing in this part or anything. I will rid I will make it so there aren't any gems in this dragon world ever again. Well, I'll, I'll keep the gems but uh, we will keep them for the we will rescue the gems. I should have I should have went on there later. And my Mega Man poster is like becoming less sticky, and it will always like r peel off the walls. I always thought this was an interesting way to collect the gems. Now what? Where do we go? Okay. Well, I guess we have to go down here and all the way back up again. It's not that much of a chore, but still, just just something to note that it's kind of iffy. Again, I should have uh, jumped later on, but I didn't. And the music looped. Not yet. Okay. There we go. And also, another thing to note is, um, I'm pretty sure his. Uh, his Walkman thing might have had metal parts, and he was also wearing the metal ring, so I don't know. I figured that would, like, conduct electricity or something, but... I guess since it's a video game, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just kind of thinking logically here. Just just interesting uh, things to notice. I don't think I've ever noticed that before, or thought of that. Because, you know, it could, it's very dangerous to uh, wear metal while doing such a thing like that. I don't know. Let's go back on here. Okay, well I guess we have to uh, take this ledge again. And we just have some gems over here and we'll be done. I'm pretty sure there are only two dragons in this world, or this level, right? Okay, there aren't any thieves. Actually, I think we might have gone... Yeah, we have all the thieves already. It pretty much ends at this point. Like, there aren't any thieves anymore. I'm, I'm almost certain that there aren't any thieves anymore. Aren't any more thieves, thank you, Grammar. And let's fly all the way here, because that's where to go. And we have more gems, and we're almost done. Okay, we want to get all of them, thank you, for the last time. Look at all those uh, rockets. I'm sure they will cause many explosions. So let's do that. One thing here. And one here. Did I get it? No, I didn't. That one made a weird sound. That was a different sound from last time. Okay, we have this patch and that patch and we're done. So I guess today was kind of a short episode. This better be the last patch or else I'm gonna go like, ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, 400 out of 400, and that was today's part, so uh, we're going to exit the level right now, and uh, we're done. But I will wait for this uh, this little cutscene thing. Not cutscene, but transition, I guess you can say. 
anyways, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, or the day after, or whenever I feel like recording or uploading, so. Yeah, I'll see you guys later, and uh, have a good one. Goodbye now.